am I the asshole for cutting off support to my daughter? I, 52 M, have three children with my ex Tracy, 50 F, Michael, 28 M, Linda, 25 F, and Victoria, 23 F. We split because Tracy had an affair with Stan, 55 M, to whom she is now married. We never shared with the kids the reason for the divorce as I didn't want them to blame either of us. This backfired as the kids saw their mom move out of the house, into a small apartment, and me keep living in the house and remarry two years after the divorce. So they saw me as the bad guy. Stan and Tracy let them pretty much do whatever they wanted and I had to be the disciplinarian who made sure homework was done, appointments were made, and deadlines were met. My two oldest eventually came to realize that I was not the bad guy. My son when he found out that his mother had put nothing away for college for him as outlined in our divorce decree and she told him to take out loans. My daughter when she realized that her grades were going to keep her out of her desired program in school. My youngest never came around. So it was a surprise when her boyfriend asked for my blessing to ask for her hand. When I expressed that I didn't think she'd care about my blessing he said she insisted on it. She began spending time with me, being polite to my wife, and it felt wonderful to have my daughter back. I went with them to book the venue, and they'll be getting married next summer. I paid the deposit and the first installment. I noticed that she was becoming less communicative again recently, ignoring my texts or giving one-word replies, and not coming over as much. On Monday, my son sent me a post from Instagram. My youngest had an engagement party this weekend to which I was not invited. One of the photos was her with Stan and it read, anyone can be a father. It takes a real man to be a dad. This amazing guy has been my dad for 15 years even though he didn't have to be. I am so blessed to have him walk me down the aisle next year. Hashtag daddy's girl hashtag future masks my kids wanted for nothing their entire lives because I never let them go without. Even when they wouldn't talk to me, I made sure their needs were met. I texted Tracy to ask why I was not included. She replied that Victoria didn't want my wife there because she wanted a drama-free day. My wife has literally never started drama in her life. I asked if Stan and I would both be walking her down the aisle. Tracy didn't respond, but Victoria called me up demanding to know what my problem was. I repeated my question and she replied that no, Stan, her dad, would be walking her down the aisle. I told her that if that's what she wanted I would be fine with it. I told her to let Stan know the next payment for the wedding is due in November. Stan and Tracy do not have the money for this wedding and think I'm being an asshole. Linda says if I do this, Victoria will never speak to me again. Michael is on my side. NTA, and your title is wrong. You aren't cutting off support, you're declining to pay for the remainder of the wedding expenses when you are going to be disrespected at the event. It's pretty obvious that Victoria cozied up to you for a while, and even had her boyfriend ask for your blessing, to sucker you into paying for everything. If Stan is her dad, he should fill the traditional role, and he and Tracy should pay the expenses the bride's family traditionally pay. NTA. Maybe it's time you told your kids the real reason behind the divorce. NTA. If you aren't her dad in her eyes then why would you pay for the wedding? And here is a novel idea. The bride and groom can pay for the wedding instead of the parents. NTA. They're using you for money, they don't care about you and have removed you as a father in her life. Don't give her any more money.